Hey you guys, how's it going? And welcome back to Justice Drink Reviews Wars. We're back at it again with another brand new review just for you guys. So smash that like button, comment, subscribe, do all that shit because it's free. But guys, thanks for jumping in here. It is Terrapin Beer Company made in Athens, Georgia. Depth Perception. And then it says uh, hops and beer may be closer than they appear at 9.1% alcohol. Uh, it's an Imperial IPA, 19.2 ounces in this one. Um, Newton Bridge Road, Athens, Georgia. Um, pack in, pack out, recycle. It's got a cool little turtle on the bottom right there. But I love the can. That's another reason why I kind of got it. I love like the red on blue and green. I love the Christmassy color. So it's kind of what we went with. And I'm not gonna lie. I also love Terrapin. It's got a, they have a ton of different IPAs and they are all really, really nice as far as I can tell. Ooh, the color in this one's really dark. They're not like really dark, like a, you know what I mean. There's still more in here. Probably ain't gonna be able to get all in there. And it's just like ever so little is left in there. But on the nose, ooh, definitely sweet, kind of tangy, like a fruity, definitely like orange, orange peel. And I want to say maybe like a, there's another fruit, but I just can't pick it out. It's like a, like a grapefruit, kind of bitter, I want to say. Let's give it a go though. Look at, look at that color. That's full though, guys. Cheers. Mustache. Ooh. That's that's good. That's sweet. A lot of the times I really hate how like dry hops hoppier IPAs can be. But this one's actually sweet. It's kind of refreshing on the palate. Slightly bitter though. The bitterness is what I really enjoy on this one. But it's like a tangerine bitter. It's got a real thick taste to it, too. There we go. All of it. <laughs> it does have a... Um, uh, let me hit my throat there while I was talking. Um, thick, like, throat taste. I don't know. It's, like, weird. Like, it feels like it's built up, like, right there. Um, but I kind of get that a lot with a lot of hoppier beverages anyway, so I'm not mad at that. Um, I like the taste. It's kind of got like a, like a toffee taste to it, like a chocolatey. I just like how smooth this one is. Um, we did another one. I can't remember the name of it, but it was a blue can, uh, solid blue almost, <coughs> and green. It might also have, I don't know. I can't remember the name of it, but... It kind of, I want to say, resembles that one, but this one adds in a lot more sweetness, a little less bitter, and more flavorful on the palate without drying out your palate entirely. And I think that's what really draws me into this one here specifically is the fact that it's not so dry. Because when I do drink a lot of IPAs, I feel like they're just overly dry sometimes. But the way this one's made, it's really good. And I love that it says the hops and hops and beer may be closer than they appear. That's really neat, especially on the play with depth, depth inception as the name. Um, that's really neat. And the colors are just so vibrant. Um, I love that too. That's what really stood out. I was looking at different things and I was like, I'm in kind of in a rush. You know, I didn't have any options today. I didn't get home until real late yesterday, so I wasn't able to prep. And I was like, I gotta get something. And I just kind of scrolled a little bit and I was like, wow, that green and red and blue can just kind of like according like to everything else so 
Um, I like picking out random beers like that, or random IPAs or drinks or anything you want to call it, before everybody's like, oh my god, not a beer, not yet. Yeah, 9.1%. Doesn't necessarily taste strong, but there's a lot of IPAs I feel like that's out there that kind of give off that not quite strong vibe, but actually really is. And, I mean, for the price, it was only 3 bucks for 19 ounces. I mean, that's not really that, that's not bad at all. What was it, 19, 19.2. 19.2 ounces, and it was like 3 bucks. so well worth it, I think. Uh, I would definitely rebuy this one compared to a lot of other IPAs that I've had. Uh, I would definitely add that to my rebuy. Um, but it does say tar, uh, Terrapin uh, Beer Company, so I wonder if they have other ones that are relatively more malty or anything. But I'll have to look into that and see if I can order some. But cheers. It's good. It kind of reminds me of one of those honey sticks. Um, I don't know if you've ever been to a southern festival. I honestly don't know if they have them up north or not. But you have these little pixie sticks looking things. And they got honey in them. And you can eat the honey out of the stick. And that's kind of what the flavor, or not the flavor, but the uh, thickness kind of resembled. It's not quite like molassy thick, but it's just like a light thickness. It's so weird to explain. But... That's what I'm here for, guys. Remember, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and welcome to the Drink Reviews. And I can't wait to see you guys around for some more because, guys, I'm Justin. And I love doing this. So, you know what it is. I bet you guys don't have to. I try it so you guys don't have to. So, till later, thanks until always, guys. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Like I said, you're not going to miss out. I always do this. Every time I mess up my outro, I repeat myself. So, stop that. Hey, you know what we're going to do. Tomorrow, Miller Mo Monday. And I'm super excited for it. So, be there. Uh, hopefully, it's going to be around the same time as last week. Maybe around four, five-ish, somewhere around there. Let's see how everything goes. Y'all are absolutely amazing. I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night. Drink one with me. Drink one for me. And let's bring in the rest of this weekend. Love you guys.